Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And as you can see, I have a mountain of planners on my desk. Um, I am super excited to film this video. This is going to be my 2024 planner setup video. Um, so I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planners on my desk. Uh, these will not all be used in their entirety. I'm going to take bits and pieces from each one uh, to create uh, my lineup for this year. So let's get started. The first planner that I have here is the Kell of a Plan uh, seasonal vertical, I think that's my, might be what it's called, uh, but this one I will be using for my journal. And the reason that I chose to start with this one is because it's going to be the easiest to set up because I am just going to use this as a standalone planner and I'm not really going to make any changes to it. So we open it up and it has a, this is your year and I am going to put my name in the planner to make this a one official. Um, I put together just, um, I pulled out all different happy planner letters and I put them in one of these like create your own sticker book books. Um, and so I have just some plain black letters that we're just going to put in here. All right, so uh, I'm probably not going to be writing anything in here yet. Uh, this has important dates and I am not quite sure what I'm going to use this page for. Um, there, the uh, calendar at a glance here. Um, this is another thing that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these pages. This page, though, I was thinking that I would put like a highlight of the month. Um, I could do that here too, but because it says important dates, I might uh, just use this page for, for highlight of the month. And then this is the currently page. So um, I'll probably use this the same way that I do in my current journal, where it's going to be like a top moments page for the month. Um, and then the calendar in my current journal, which I will do the same thing next year, is uh, every day I put something memorable uh, in the calendar. So, so each day when I go to write in my journal at the end of the day, I'll put something memorable that happened that day in the calendar. And then we will use the um, weekly layout to journal in. Okay, so this is my journal all ready to go. Okay, the next planner that I'm going to set up is going to be my Franken planner. This planner is going to have my catch-all, my social media, and my wellness planner all in one. Um, so these are the three planners that I'm going to use for that. And because I'm going to use these discs for my uh, Franken planner, we're going to use this kind of as the base so that I don't have to uh, mess with moving discs around. I can just take pages in and out of this kind of as like the, the starting off point. So this is the other Calva Plan Planner that um, I had mentioned. This is the dashboard layout. And the dashboard layout portion of this, I'm going to use for my wellness planner. And the reason that I chose this um, again, this will be the currently page. This I usually use as some kind of self-care. Um, and for the monthly layout, I will uh, put uh, uh, the workout that I do each day. That's how I use my monthly layout in my wellness planner. And this is the main reason that I chose this as my wellness planner because currently uh, I am always whiting out all of the things on the left side of the page because I don't use like tasks or lists or anything. Uh, so I decorate it and I put boxes in here for my workouts for the week. Um, so having like a blank page w is perfect for the way that I use this planner. Okay, so let's get started in turning this into my Franken planner. So the first thing that I'm going to do, as I mentioned, I want to keep these discs, but the main cover that I'm going to use, at least for now, I may switch it out. I want this one, say hello to happy. So we're going to take the front cover 
and the back cover off of this one. And we'll take the front and back cover off of this one. And then we're just gonna pop this, this cover on to these discs. Now the first section that I'm going to put in my planner is going to be for my catch-all. Um, and for my catch-all, I'm going to use this Happy Planner Vertical Layout um, Bright Travels. This is an 18-month planner and I haven't used it at all yet. Uh, so we're going to start you know, with January. Uh, but let's first take out this um, name page and then these calendars and then this calendar section. So we're going to take all of these pages out of here. And we're going to put them in this planner. Now this is starting to get really thick, so I think I'm going to have to um, take some pages out of here. So let's do that next. So the, um, typically I will only keep one month, um, at a time in my planner. Uh, I am debating trying this year to do two months at a time because I think that it'll fit. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take everything out except for January and February. Uh, now I'm removing these one month at a time because I feel like if you try and do more than that, um, it's too difficult and I don't wanna mess my pages up. Um, and also the way that I am pulling these out, you wanna pull it from the top going down. You can't pull them out sideways. Okay, so this is the rest of my wellness planner. And I will find discs and I will put this, you know, back together so that um, I have this stored waiting for me. So when, you know, February, February comes around, um, I can put the March, March in here. And then I'll put January back in here to keep the, uh, the pages all together for the planner. Okay, so now we can get back to get back to what I was doing um, earlier. Okay, so I have my name page here, and then I have these calendar pages. Okay, and then we're gonna go to January. So in this planner, we're going to find January. And I want the currently page, so we're gonna take that with us too. And I'll pull out January and then I'll pull out February and then I can set this one aside so now this one can be stored um, like the other planner and when March comes around I will take March out of here put it in my Franken planner and then put January back in here All right, so we have January and February. Now, because I uh, am using a an 18 month planner, I have July in here. So I want to glue these two pages together. So it's gonna go right from my calendar here to my January currently page. So I will get my tape runner.
All right, and then you can take this page. Actually, let's try and do it this way. You wanna try and get these to line up as best you can. So I just kind of let it fall and press down on the page. There we go. Okay, and then I have my currently page. So I have my January calendar, the month of January. I have my February currently page, my February calendar, and then the month of February. So that is the end of my catch-all planner. I'm gonna put this clear divider in here. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. Uh, I believe Live Love Posh sells them too. Uh, you can find them in a bunch of places. And I don't have clear um, labels. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get those um, to be able to label these tabs. Uh, to have them say what I want to say on them. I may uh, break down and buy a, a little label maker myself, but um, so this will be my catch-all section. Now I have some extra pages for my planner, but I think I'm going to do that at the end because I don't know if I want them in the sections of the planner or if I want to put all of them at the end. All right, so next up is going to be my wellness planner and uh, this is the uh, page for my wellness planner the cover page or the name page uh, and actually I do need to put my name in for all of these so we'll do that at the end so I have all of these beginning pages and then we have January and February and I don't think I need to glue anything or Frankenplant anything. I think that that one is good. So we're going to take another one of these covers. And then next up is going to be my social media planner. Uh, that's this one. So this is the first year that I'm going to have a social media planner. Uh, I just started my YouTube channel, you know, towards the end of 2023 and didn't definitely didn't need to have one, you know, in, in 2023, but I'm finding that it would probably make my life a little easier to have, um, a planner, not that I need like a like a full fledged planner like a lot of creators do, um, because I, you know, I'm still very new. I don't have any like brands that I work with or anything. Um, but it is getting a little bit more difficult to keep track of the things that I need to film and edit and you know what I'm uploading and all of that. So I'm going to use this. It's going to be. Um, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot to it at first, and I probably won't even film, uh, like, setting these pages up, at least for the first couple of months. But my plan is to use this calendar as, like, my YouTube schedule, what I'm going to upload each day. And then in here, kind of track the tasks that I need to do, like what needs to get filmed, what needs to get edited, uh, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of my plan for this one. So we have January and February here. Now I'm going to put another one of these dividers. And next we're going to talk about extra pages for my planner. So there are some extra pages that I look at daily and these are all part of like my wellness planner. So I think I want to put them in with the wellness planner. I feel like that makes the most sense in my brain to do. So let's go to this tab. Um, so this is the end of my wellness planner and I may want to put like a bookmark or something in here 
to separate the two. I do have another dashboard, so I could do that, but for now, I'm just gonna put these in here. Um, so this is going to be my December, or my January wellness challenge. Um, when I set up my January monthly for my wellness planner, I will explain what that is going to be. And then every month I also do um, a sleep tracker. So I have that ready for January. And I have a mood tracker. So that one is all ready. And then I have a habit tracker. And these four um, get changed out every month. Uh, it, they're basically the same, you know, same idea, but uh, they get just get changed out each month. So I have those trackers every month. And then there are two symptom trackers that I have that are like annual symptom trackers. And this is a printable from um, Plan with Elise. And uh, there are two symptoms that I'm going to be tracking. One is IBS symptoms. I have IBS, and so I like to keep track of you know, how often I'm having, you know, severe symptoms versus no symptoms, that sort of thing. And then the other one is um, like a migraine tracker. I tend to get migraines and uh, it's nice to know, you know, well, how often do I really get migraines? Is it, you know, super frequently? Is it becoming more frequent, less frequent? You know, just something to be able to track so that I can, um, you know, share the information with my doctor. So those are all of my wellness trackers. And then, so those are gonna get looked at every single day. Then I have some sort of fun extra pages for my planner. And this one is a savings tracker. Um, and we're going to put in this uh, last dashboard to separate these pages here. So I did a video recently um, showing uh, me creating this page and this is a savings tracker. So in each month I will put, you know, how much money I saved that month. And then uh, I created two movies trackers and I got this idea from Mojo Jojo. Uh, I, from Mojo Jojo Plans, I was watching her videos and she did a movies that she watches in the theater and movies that she watches at home. And I thought that that was a really cute idea. So I created these two pages um, for my planner. So that'll be another fun page that I um, put back here. Other things that I'll probably include will be, you know, bucket lists, like seasonal bucket lists. I haven't created a winter bucket list yet, but when I do, that'll go back here. Um, so this will be just any fun extra pages for my planner. And then the last thing that I wanna put in here, and I'm gonna use this like dashboard page, is to just put some extra like filler paper in here. So I have uh, just a ton of like dot grid filler paper, and I think I also have some lined also. So I'm just gonna take um, just like a, I don't know, a few pages from here. And then I'll take a few pages of just like blank filler paper. And then I have a few pages of like lined filler paper. And then I recently got um, an undated daily extension pack. And so I think I'm going to take, I'm gonna open this up off camera so it doesn't make a bunch of noise. All right, so I'm uh, just gonna take uh, just a few of these like daily pages uh, and put those in my planner just in case there's a day that's you know extra busy. And then I got the mystery bags uh, on Cyber Monday and this pack came in with it, these little half sheets, and I thought that these were pretty cool. It has, um, you know, priorities for today, tomorrow, and then it's just dot grid on the back. And then there's a couple of these just like plain lined and dot grid pages. So I think we will put uh, all of these in the back of my 
planner just to have, you know, extra daily sheets and just extra note pages. Okay, so I think the only thing left for now is to put my name in here. So uh, I have I have Alpha Basics, and so I think we'll use some of these fun fonts for for my name page. I like these. All right, that's fun. Okay, and then let's go to the next one. So we'll pick a different font for this one. How about this one? All right, and then lastly, I wonder if I have any that are like some cute colors that we can use since this is such a colorful page. I think these like rainbowy ones might be fun. And I do have enough of the letters. Let's do these. Oops, lost an E. All right, that's so fun. Okay, and then that's everything. Now these pages are a little difficult to turn and I'm not sure if it's um, the discs or the combination of the Kelva Plan discs with the Happy Planner um, cover, uh, but hopefully that is going to get easier to turn because it's kind of driving me crazy <laughs> right now. Um, but this is my Franken planner all set up. So I guess to recap, we have um, my catch all planner that we're starting with. Um, that's we have January and we have February uh, vertical layout. And then I have my dashboard that I'm going to use as a wellness planner we have january and february here uh, and then at the end of february which i'm gonna need to get some kind of uh like bookmark or dashboard or something to put here um, i have my wellness challenges my sleep tracker mood tracker habit tracker and then my symptom trackers And then we move into my social media planner, January and February. And then back here we have my extra pages, uh, my savings tracker, and then my movie trackers, and then what other, other fun trackers that I have here. And then at the back we have just some extra pages. All right, so this one is all ready to go. It is a little on the thick side, and I am a little concerned that once I start putting stickers in here, it's going to be too, it's gonna to get too thick, and I'm wondering if that might be another reason that it's hard to turn. So I may end up having to take out um, the second month of February uh, of these and just uh, stick to one month like I was doing uh, this year. But there is my... Franken planner all set up and ready to go. All right, next up is my work planner. This is going to be another really simple one to put together. And this one, um, this is my current 
work planner. Um, I just have it on mini discs. I'm actually going to just reuse the same discs here. I'm basically just going to change the cover on here. Uh, but this works great for me. Um, I just put in one month at a time and then have a ton of note paper in the back uh, that I can use to, you know, to take notes during the day. And this sits uh, downstairs next to my, um, my other desk with my work computer on it. And it just stays there and, you know, I only bring it up here, you know, bring the pages up here to decorate them. But other than that, this, this planner just stays um, separately. So I think all that we're going to do here is take off this cover. So I do feel like I want to change up the dividers um just because i'm kind of tired of looking at these ones <laughs> so i think what i'll use is just maybe like a couple of these dashboard dividers they don't need to um you know they can i can have them uh have the tabs at the top instead of the side that's not a big deal so let's use this one here um, and we'll take this cover and snap that in here and then we will take the name page uh, oh this is another one that I don't think I'm gonna use any of these pages uh, this is a this is an 18 month calendar and it's a 2022 2023 um, so I am going to have to redate it but the reason that redating it is not a huge deal for me is because I don't use the monthly at all so I'm not gonna have to redate uh, the monthly and when I do my weekly pages I usually switch these dates up anyway so um, it's kind of something that I already do so um, if there was going to be a planner that I was going to use uh, an old planner and have to redate this is the perfect one because again I don't use the monthly um, in it at all I think I'll bring over this currently page I haven't been decorating them but um, you never know maybe we'll start decorating them in January. Okay, so we're going to start this one off with the name page. And I think we will glue these two together. Okay, so there's the name page and we're gonna have January in here. Okay, and then we just have a whole bunch of note paper, all just different kinds of note paper. And uh, this first section, I just have like all of the random colors and things because these are typically notes that I just scribble on and throw away. So um, I sort of use the note paper that like isn't my favorite, I guess I would say. And then um, I have some of these half sheets and some of just like the plain lined paper in here if I want. Uh, so let's get rid of this. And we'll put this one in. Okay, so we just need to change out the back cover. All right, and then let's get my name in here. I feel like this is another one that has like all the bright colors, so we're gonna use these fun bright um, letters all right so this is my uh, work planner all set up so I'm gonna have my 
uh, January section, and then we have two different uh, note sections in here. And that's gonna do it for my work planner. I think we're gonna end the video here. So to recap, I have my work planner, I have my Franken planner that has my catch-all, my social media planner, and my wellness planner, and my journal. So these are all set up and ready for 2024. I'm so excited to dive into the new year and start using these. The only planner, um, or actually it's a journal that I have to set up is my reading journal. And the reason that I'm not going to add it to this video is because that one I think is going to take the longest to set up. And this is already a really long video. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, I will likely post it pretty soon after this one goes up. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, if you could hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all are as excited to start uh, 2024 as I am. I'll see you next time, bye.